I would love to invite to present his keynote to all of us, his royal majesty, the Oniru of Iru land, the whole of Iru land, Oba, his royal majesty, Oba Abdul Wasai, Omogbolawon, Muhammad Al Awal, Oniru of Iru land. Wasik to be rabbi jadali bil taifi wa bil mustafa al mukhtari ayn al ma'arifi shuhuni rafatu al kull lillah sayidi wa wasitat al mahmud bab al taifi an nabi muhammad In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I want to observe already existed or established protocol, but I must not fail to recognize the convener of this conference, uh, Sheikh, Sheikh al Mukta, and all the senior members of the group. And I must also recognize my Olori, Olori Miriam Lawa, all the guest speakers that we have here this afternoon. I want to say good afternoon. All thanks and adoration belongs to Allah, the creator of all creations. May his peace and blessings be showered upon the noblest of mankind. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his companions, and those who follow his footsteps to the last day. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm indeed delighted to be in your midst today on the occasion of the third edition of the Muhammad Rasulullah International Conference 2022. And I must add that there is no better time to gather here for this all important conference than now, as the Muslim Ummah needs it more than ever. Let me add that many Muslims today do not appreciate enough the gift that they have in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, as he is nothing but a gift to mankind. Allah, the Most High, has emphasized in the several verses of the Quran that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a gift and blessing to the entire world. In Surah Abiyah, chapter 21, verses 107, which says, We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as blessing to the whole world. End of quote. Indeed, the prophet is a gift and blessing to the entire world for the following reasons. One, to preach peace to the world. Two, to teach, to teach the world how to tolerate one another. Three, to give glad tidings and hope to humanity. Four, to teach mankind virtuous characters. Five, to bring man out of darkness into light. Six, to fight extremism and lazity. And the last one, to fight racism and discrimination. Allah also says in Surah Ujarat, chapter 49 and verses 13, O people, we created you from a male and a female. And we made you races and tribes so that you may come to know one another. 
The best among you before Allah is the most righteous. Allah is knowing and aware. End of quote. Our Sheikh, lecturers, and distinguished members here present, if we can thoroughly understand the message of Allah in this particular verse, I am convinced that the world will be a better place for us all. This is the real message to mankind through his prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let us emanate the messenger of Allah in all our dealings. The way we think, talk, and act go a long way in how people perceive Islam. Thus, thus, we have to be good ambassadors of Islam. Many things happen these days, and you can only be speechless. This is so because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would never endorse such art as Muslims. I urge us to make Allah and his prophet proud through our conduct. It is not uncommon that nowadays religious religions have been adopted as tools for disintegration. And not until we go back to the real teachings of our prophet, we may not be able to correct many evils that are growing day by day in our society. Our sheikh, lecturers, and the entire audience, I must say that our sheikh, Sheikh Amukta, is a gift also to us. I listened to the, the MC that did the opening when he mentioned that. Sheikh never requested for money to build his own personal house. Mm. Our Sheikh only requested money to build a mosque. This is in semblance with our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm sure the ulamas that we have here will tell us later that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam only built mosque in Medina. For some of us that have been to the holy mosque, the two Medina and Mecca, we have not had the opportunity of somebody taking us to the house of our holy prophet, Muhammad. What they usually do to us would be to take us to the mosque that holy prophet built. That is exactly what Sheikh Amutal is replicating. And I want to congratulate you, Sheikh. And commend the organizers of this event for a job well done. Now, I wish everyone a successful conference. Olori and I were here to listen to our lecturers. And I want to say that may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the noblest and give to mankind. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is our sword, companions, and every one of us. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wish you a happy new year. And I want to say thank you for your rapt attention. Thank you very much.